Um, you know, as a coach, you, you wish you'd come out every night and play your best for 40 minutes every possession, but it's, it's unrealistic. I know that. You know, like I say, I'll probably say it again. My guys think I'm crazy when I, you know, sometimes not real happy with a win. You know, again, as a coach, you're just not going to play at that magic level every night. I didn't think we were quite there again tonight. I thought we were just good enough uh, to win the game. We got threatened a little bit to start the second half. I guess we went on a 25 to, or 21 to 5 run to separate the game to go up 23 points. But then as a coach, you get up 23, I just think we got casual. They went to a zone, and it really wasn't their zone at all. It was just some casualness on our part. Um, too many, you know, bad passes, casual passes that you just can't have. And again, as a coach, um, I know what happens in teams. As a coach, you don't like it. But I guess the positive thing is we found a way to win, and um, you know, that's at the end of the day, that's the most important thing too. Questions? Why did they start quitting defensively? Your guys? Well, in the second half, we came out and played a little more energy. You know, the first half we didn't get into trap much. We trapped probably this game less. We've trapped whole these games. And when you're half a step slow, you know, you're not going to be very good at that trap. You've got to be moving. And I didn't think we were moving great in it. And I didn't play Merrick as much the first half. And he's the guy that's good in it. Uh, but about the second half, we got in it some. But we got stops in the man. And got out in transition. Got some easy transition baskets. you think that might have been fatigue at all from kind of the stretch of game? You know, I'm going to never let fatigue be an uh, excuse. You know that. Um, I don't think so. I just know, you know, it's hard to, you know, again, as a coach, you preach every possession. Uh, when you practice, everything you got. So you stay off that mountain. You stay out of that valley. Uh, but I know it don't, always don't happen. I understand that. It don't. But as a coach, it's, again, that's what you push for and strive for every day. Um, as I've said, we don't have a lot of opportunities to change the flow of the game. You know, change the flow of that energy sometimes. You know, that's just kind of where we're at. But I will say this again, the second half, you know, I thought we had some guys step up and stepped it up some. You look at some stats, you know, I, I thought Darius was just kind of casual all day, but you look at his stats, 18 points, eight rebounds and five assists and no turnovers. I guess that's pretty good stats. You know, five five guys in double figures. You know, you shoot 52% for the game and you hold them to 36% shooting for the game. You know, you plus six turnover, made our free throws, eight for 19 for three-point line. So it's some positive stats. I just didn't think we were as sharp as we I've seen our team. George, when you have that many players in double figures, how hard does that make you for opposing teams? Well, I think, yeah, we've, we've got seven guys, I think, averaging double figures, don't we? Six. Six. Um, six guys averaging double figures. Uh, it's hard to key on any, any one guy. Uh, you know, Justin's capable of getting his 20 a night, so is Dwight, and uh, any of those primitive people are. So I don't think it's – you can come into a game – it's hard to come into our game plan against us and say, we've got to take Justin out of it. Last year, they could have done that. Take Justin out of the play. Now you can't do that because there's too many other people around you can has opportunities to beat you and beat you different ways. I think all those perimeter guys have the freedom to beat you with a shot and beat you off that bounce. And that makes it difficult. And Dwight's still a big old load in there. He's a big old load in around that rim. You got eight days to the next game. Is there anything you specifically are going to be working on practice? Well, first of all, we got finals coming up. You got finals? How does it mess your mind up finals week? What's it do to you finals week? Training. Okay, so as a coach, we have to understand that. Uh, we'll give them some time, you know, to take their finals. Um, at the same time, you know, I know how that focus is sometimes until we get all that behind us. You know, just continue to clean up things. Um, I don't think there's one particular area. You know, if you had asked me one thing, is just plant that magic level of energy, man. I don't think it's about turnovers. I don't think it's really about, you know, I think defense, defensively we've gotten pretty pretty good. But all those things always about just energy, energy, energy. Um, and that's the biggest thing I, that I look for. And I look for it every day in practice. I think for a while, like, they were trying to make this kind of a half-court game. Um, they got away from that a little bit. But was that something you've seen a lot this year with the team? 
like? Well, when you go on the road um, as a opposing team, um, you want to try to control the flow of that game. And you got two ways to do it defensively. But whatever you choose to do, where it's zone, where it's half court trap and slowing it down or slowing it down offensively. Um, you know, I think a lot of teams want to do that on the road because they don't want to get us out in transition and give us easy baskets. And I think that's kind of what spurted the game in the second half. Uh, we got stops. They weren't able to get that defense set. And we kind of got going. We went on that 23 to 5 run, 21 to 5 run. We got a lot of stuff out in transition. Everybody good? Anybody else? All right, thank you. Sorry I'm short tonight, but hey.